is it finally going to work? Man, why won't this work? Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Darian, coming at you with Let's Play number 11. And I hope you like my intro. Um, yeah, I actually had to log in without the launcher. I don't understand. It just, it just wasn't working for me. So, I logged in without the launcher, you know, my hacks will finally work and won't be able to detect me. Oh, thank God. But anyways, uh, so let's get into this. <laughs> and um, I got the question uh, recently, and by recently I mean today. <laughs> um, they asked me... What the fuck? Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, I got the question today um Darian what was where did you first start off gaming and um while I do some of this oh my god <laughs> that 360 okay well that didn't work out so yeah anyways um uh, my question was, what was, uh, where did you, like, first start off gaming, and, you know, how did it develop from there, because, um, some of you might know, however, some of you might not know, that I was, um, very into competitive gaming, in fact, I went across the country, you know, I would, I signed controllers, um, and participated in events, and, uh, I'm actually still the manager of an MLG team, but, um, so the question was, <laughs> how did you start off with gaming? How did you get to that point? And uh, it's actually an interesting question. Oh my God, there's more down here. You can't even go down, Mark. Okay, so anyways, uh, <laughs> while I find a way around, um, I'm going to guess Nino's creation. However, it could be any of the management. It's probably not Carlito, because I can't imagine him doing stuff like that. But, um... Well, I find my way around that and respond to a house robbery over here. Um, how it, I actually started on a, um, oh man, I sound like a grandpa. I, sound, I started on a Dreamcast. Now, if anybody doesn't know what that is, I'll post a picture. I don't have it anymore. Um, but I'll post a picture right here. And... This is what a Dreamcast was. Now, you've probably seen them in your schools and stuff. They were, well, they were expensive at the time, but they were, they got pretty cheap after about two or three years, especially when the GameCube came out. Oh, man. Um, and actually, speaking of GameCubes, that was the next thing I got. And uh, <laughs> on the GameCube, I spent about half of my life playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. And we're going to pull this guy over because you have a passenger seat for a reason riding on the roof does not make sense when you have a passenger seat and they're gonna run awesome so anyways I, w I played need for speed hot pursuit for a very long time and that's where I got my oh and that's where I got my amazing driving skills <laughs> And, um, I was playing that until I was about, man, what, eight, nine? Oh, what? Why didn't my M4 come out? And they just, like... Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Listen, in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, I got away from the cops, not chased people. Oh, I saw him down there. Hopefully I can get over there in time.
There he is. So anyways, I played uh, on the GameCube for a very long time until I eventually moved to PC gaming. Uh, this was the first time I ever played a PC game. And I actually started off on um, a game almost everybody's going to know what it is as soon as I say it. Um, Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, and it was the first Halo. And I played that. Um, I actually had a clan in that. And I played that until I was about 12. That was crazy. Oh, let me try and tase this guy. What is he going to do? Oh, he's going to try and suicide. Okay, it doesn't kill you. As long as I know it doesn't kill you. Okay. And I played Halo Combat Evolved for a very long time. Oh. Until I eventually moved to RuneScape in about my fourth grade of school. Um, after that, hold on, hold on, hold on, watch this ninja, watch this ninja, watch this ninja. Wait, wait, can I do it? Wait, she's, she's trying to kill her friend. That's not gonna work. Oh, it didn't work. Wait, sneaky, sneaky. You can't kill your friend. He's caught. What? She wasn't even shooting. Okay, I guess that w it hadn't been seven seconds. Um. Anyways, I'm going to assume it's like a level six or something. Yeah. See, because she was trying to kill her friend, which is against the rules. However, you know, whatever. Um. So yeah, I played Halo Combat Evolved, and uh, I'll actually cut it until I get into a car again. <clears throat> so anyways, she killed her friend even after I PM'd her that it's against the rules. But, again, it's a level 5, so you know, what do you really expect? Whatever, you know, life goes on. So yeah, I played RuneScape until uh, when I got into like the f my 4th grade of school. Um, and then RuneScape. Oh man. <laughs> To make a long story short, I played RuneScape for a very long time. I ended up getting maxed out, uh, white party hats, um, full dragon barrows, uh, gilded armor, everything that you can think of in RuneScape. I had it. I was a billion. I was even a player moderator for about eight months. No, nine months. And. Um, Man, that was, that was, I remember that, that was crazy. But, um, nonetheless, I ended up respectfully leaving the player moderator team, um, when I got into high school. So, let's see, fourth to eighth, four years. I was playing RuneScape for four years. I, uh, and about that time, I got my Xbox. I got an Xbox for Christmas, my uh, ha my halfway in to halfway into my eighth grade year, I forgot this road is closed. So, anyways, halfway into my eighth grade year, I got an Xbox. I ended up quitting RuneScape. I gave away all my stuff. Everybody was, um, all my friends were very happy that they were my friends because they got a bunch of free stuff, um, like uh, expensive stuff. Uh, spirit shields and all this stuff. If you don't know Amulet of Fires, if you don't know, if you don't play RuneScape or you never played RuneScape, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But just trust me, they're things. Um, and when I got my Xbox, that's when I started making money. And okay, and now keep in mind that was only about 12-ish eh, years old. 
at this time. And I started playing Xbox, and at first, you know, it was just for fun. And just like anything, it was just for fun, you know, whatever. But then I I learned about this thing. This this cool little thing. It was called... I'll put a picture right uh, here. It was called the Hapagi... Uh, HDP, uh, no, it wasn't an HDP VR. It was a, um, oh my god, what? It was, it was some type of capture card. I forgot what it was called. I'll put a picture though. A, a dazzle. That's what it was, a dazzle. I ended up getting a dazzle and recording, uh, my Call of Duty 4 footage. So, anyways, as time went on, I was, you know, I was uploading these videos on a regular basis. Uh, people started telling me, Hey, Darian, it's a really big thing. There's this guy called Grizz. ZZIR Grizz. Start doing commentaries. And I think you might be able to get somewhere because you're actually pretty good at the game. And I was like, no, commentaries. I don't really like talking over you know, gameplay. Ironically, I am right now. I don't really like talking over gameplays. They're like, no, man, just give it a try. Give it a try. So sure enough, I gave it a try. And then I ended up getting like... 700 views in a month which for people that know YouTube that's a lot of views in one month I don't even get that right now on this channel and I kept uploading and uploading I kept doing these commentaries and I kept getting better and better and people kept liking them and eventually I looked I looked at my YouTube channel and keep in mind this was old YouTube channel old old you this was before google came and screwed everything up with their ads and stuff this was when google was good this was how Goo i mean this was when youtube was good this was how youtube became famous okay that was this youtube this i i started on the youtube that made youtube the actual youtube not the youtube right now where you have to have a google plus account and all this retarded things it, it doesn't even make sense anymore and but anyways that's how i started so sure enough i ended up about like a year and a half into this i ended up getting a contract for a partnership through awesomeness tv and you can look them up if you want to know who they are but sure enough they started paying me for my videos and um it got so serious that um i had actually and don't worry, I obviously never did. But it got so serious that I actually had um, talked to my my mom about possibly dropping out and doing YouTube as a career thing. And thank God I didn't. Because two years later, <laughs> Google took over YouTube. God, what a mess they made. And um, my channel that had about... Eh, 30 something thousand subscribers at this time ended up getting taken down because of copyrighted music on basically all of my videos because that's what I played in the background. Um, I like to listen to music while I play so there was copyrighted songs all over my videos. Every single video you watch there was a copyrighted song on and I ended up getting like 70 strikes in the first month of Google taking over YouTube and my channel got deleted, sadly enough. But that's how I started uh, and that's also how I made my name within the gaming community. I mean, my, my Twitter never got deleted so I still have like, uh, well now I have like 6,000 followers but that's because everybody started on following me because I quit. But I had like 12,000 followers or something. My my girlfriend still has like 30 something thousand subscribers. Which is, she didn't even have a Twitter before she met me. So that should kind of tell you something. Um, I convinced her to make a Twitter. But anyways, this isn't about Destiny. This is about my gaming. So yeah, that's how we got into it. And that's really, Xbox is really where I wrote everything through and until I came back to PC gaming, which I started playing Samp. I I met up with a few of my friends. Um, I was actually working for a company called JJ Servers. We uh, we were a server hosting company. We hosted Minecraft, GTA San Andreas, 
uh, team speak and forms. So it's how I learned a lot about like uh, GTA, my um, Minecraft te technical support. Um, team speak was a really big thing for us. So I was I knew everything about query uh, query admin and all that stuff. It was crazy the amount of information I knew. But um. I still do know I didn't lose any of that information, but um, yeah, that's kind of how I got into my gaming. I kind of rambled on there for a little bit, but I think you guys pretty much get the gist. Keep in mind, I just covered, man, <laughs> eight to nine years in however long this video is. So I really like I sugarcoated it for you. Because there was a lot. I mean, I could have talked about MLG Anaheim, MLG Orlando, all these events I went to, meeting FaZe before they were FaZe, before they had millions of subscribers. I knew FaZe when they were only had like 3,000. I had more subscribers than they do. I mean, like, there's so many people, uh, and so many cool and interesting people that I met that. You know, GTA is cool and all, but there's one thing I have to give it to the Call of Duty community is it's serious. Like, on IM, you know, if you're the best shooter, it's like, yeah, cool, man, whatever. Yeah, you get a nice KD in war, awesome, man. But, you know, you're not going to get money off that. If you're a good shooter, like, if you're good in Call of Duty, you're going to make thousands of dollars thousands and thousands of dollars so you have to realize when you're good at call of duty there there's a difference like i i don't know i don't know how to explain it but there's not as much bragging rights when you're good at samp th than there is when you're good at call of duty and uh, i'll kind of leave it at that and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this was let's play episode 11? 11, yes. Episode 11. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment on what you think my next commentary should be about. Or form PM me, whatever, anything. Doesn't matter. Don't care. This has been Darian. T take care. Uh, live strong. Don't forget to drink your milk. Wear your seatbelt. Don't run with scissors. And yeah, peace. Take care.